Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to Neon's Movie Reviews. I'm Neon, this is my review channel. Uh, today I'm talking about Arsenal. Uh, I, I got a lot to say. Um, before I dive into it though, just want to say if you enjoyed my content, please give this video a like, really helps out my channel. And uh, as we are a couple weeks into the summer of Nick Cage, and as I still got a couple more weeks of this series to go through, uh, if you want to go ahead and get notified of new releases, or uh, go ahead and subscribe, and if you actually want to get a notification, hit the bell in the corner. But, Arsenal. Um, this is a sequel to Deadfall. Um, I, I initially thought this was going... I knew go went into this knowing it was a continuation or a prequel to I knew it was more of Eddie King's character from Deadfall um, I don't know why I chose to watch that but for some damn reason I was I was fucking curious and uh, I figured it would be a prequel to Deadfall you know mostly because the cage gets his face put into a fryer and he's clearly dead um but no apparently we can just skip over that and jump forward 20 some odd years and he's uh he's still alive and kicking and still just as insane and still just as annoying um but Basically, basic plot is uh, you've got Eddie King. He kind of took this kid in after his dad committed suicide, kind of started giving him work. Um, this guy, this kid, made sure that his younger brother always was upright citizen, you know, working with the law and everything. Just and now they're both adults. Uh, the the older brother is gets pulled into this kidnapping scheme with Eddie. He gets kidnapped and basically held for ransom for his brother's uh I think it's $350,000 that they're holding him ransom for. Um and then they start escalating things. They start threatening his family. They kidnap his uh his niece. All these different things start happening. Um and yeah. The, the the film itself is is not a bad movie um like all in all i think i'd give this a five out of ten as well like it's not bad um it's not good it's definitely like made for tv or direct to video quality but for being that quality it's not not too bad um eddie king in this the cage is more bearable than he was in Deadfall. He goes on less freakouts and they're more... They make more sense in the context of this film as to why he has those freakouts. And, uh... I will say. I will say. The director, uh, I think it's Stephen C. Miller, um... He does... He likes his blood and he likes his slow-mo. And he likes using them together. And, uh... Sometimes it's overtly gratuitous but other times it's very appropriate it's very impactful uh there's a especially brutal sequence where they're beating this guy up who's uh tied to a chair and uh uh eddie he comes over with this metal metal pole has him open his mouth just has it sticks it into the guy's mouth grabs the bat and just hammers it the rest of the way through um like, this film gets fucking brutal. Um, one of the characters, he, like, takes a takes a, a screw and, like, basically puts it through his middle, in between his, his fingers, punches some dude a couple times with it. Like, there, there are some fucking brutal kills and some brutal violence in this. Um, and whenever you see slow motion kick in or these, like, zoom in shots, blood is going to fly. Uh really reminded me a bit of uh not as not as artistic or as impressive but it really reminded me of Hannibal uh the the TV TV series by David Slade um and uh I think Brian Fuller I think it is but um 
really, really good sequences. Uh, the, the shootouts, the action scenes are all pretty good. Um, honestly, I don't have a lot of complaints against this movie. It's just very by the numbers. The, the lead actor is... It's, it's the guy from Entourage. I can't think of his name. Um, the, the main character of Entourage. Um, but... He, he's alright, but... Everybody else, his brother, the Eddie King, all of Eddie King's henchmen, like even John Cusack's pretty decent in it. Um, no one, no one goes above and beyond, but nobody gives a bad performance either. Um, and Nick Cage, as I said, he's he does Eddie King in a much more not not quieter or anything like that, not more nuanced, but. The, the freakouts that that Eddie has seem more appropriate to what's actually taking place in the world. Uh, it's not just like, oh, he got some bad news and now he's throwing a temper tantrum. No, he got some news that he's probably going to have to kill somebody or he himself will be killed. Okay, makes sense for that freakout. Um, his brother makes an appearance. Uh Eddie's, Eddie's brother makes an appearance in this, played by N Nicolas Cage's brother, uh, Christopher Coppola, who was the director of, uh, of Deadfall. That was, that was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, this, it's a weird film. Like, the movie itself is fine, it's pretty by the numbers, but when you factor in the connection to Deadfall and the fact that Eddie King dies in that and... Spoiler, Eddie King dies in this. It's, it's really weird. Um, I initially thought this was going to be a prequel. And when I was watching it, I still thought it was going to be a prequel. I was just like, it seems a little too modern to be a prequel. So he pulls out a cell phone and I'm just like, um, okay. Maybe somehow a prequel? Maybe they didn't specify what year it was in Deadfall and they're just going to kind of roll with that. Um, and then when, when Eddie gets killed at the end, I'm just like, okay, I guess it wasn't a prequel. I guess this was a sequel or just another story with Eddie. So it's weird in terms of a franchise, but as a film itself, it was fine. Um, all in all though, I'd give this five out of 10. Um, not, not a bad movie. Uh, not as, not a so bad it's good movie like Deadfall was. This is actually just middle of the road entertainment. There's some pretty decent scenes in it. There's some other things in it that are just like passable. Um, performances for the most part are pretty decent. Directing is pretty decent. It's it's really the writing and the lead that are the the things that bring it down. Um, yeah, all in all, I, I enjoyed this. This is one I probably will rewatch. It was it's a lot more fun than Deadfall for me. Um, and uh, yeah. I, if you've seen Deadfall, I'd, I, I recommend this. If, if you haven't seen Deadfall, if this film sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check it out. But you, you have really no reason to see it unless, unless you were intri intrigued by a crazy Nick Cage role. But yeah, that's going to wrap this up. Not really sure what, uh, what I got coming next. Um, yeah, I've still got like about 15 left of these to go through, so... Pickings are getting kind of slim. Um, trying to mix, trying to like stack them so it's a good one, medium one, and a bad one, and then a good one, and a medium one, and a bad one. But I'm running out of ones that I know are supposed to be good, so um, probably gonna have some strings of mediocre and bad for a bit here. But until then, uh, this is uh, Neon's Movie Reviews, and definitely appreciate you sticking through this video. Um, Catch you next time. Stay safe, all.